All right. So you have the opportunity for your postcard. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's closer. Yeah, that's better. Okay, okay, good. That's better. <laughs> You had the opportunity for your postcard, which we just saw, which you just saw, yeah. um, to uh, to be at the Demel Bakery in uh, Vienna. Very sweet place. <laughs> and Demel is like worldwide known for these amazing creations that they uh, make out of chocolate and marzipan and yeah. torta and good things. The the most amazing smell I've ever. Yeah. Smelled. Yeah. Did you get a chance to actually create a cake at Demel? Yes, of course. Oh, this one you saw. It was a real was thing. Fun. Yeah, of oh. course. And I, I took it with me. Um, oh. you know, so, yeah, we've made an, a whole cake together from the <laughs> basics, from the beginning wow. to the end, and it was ready. And this one you saw, it was my cake. Is that something you usually enjoy doing, or was that? Yes. Yeah? To be honest, oh. yes. I love to cook and bake, um, and when I'm home, I try to do it uh, as often as possible. Especially that I really enjoy um, um, a healthy uh, lifestyle, healthy food, yeah. and so I try new things and. This is very, very nice. When I was little, growing up in Canada, um, my parents had to work a lot, and the couple across from our apartment was an older Polish couple. They were very, very old when I was very young. And the lady used to always make these cookies, and we always tried to ask, what are the cookies? And she said, they're Polish cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have it again. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it was um, a secret recipe. I yeah, think. yeah. But I wish I'm um, searching for the Polish cookies. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to bake some <laughs> next time. Okay. Well, do we have any questions from uh, from the press corps? Um, yes, sir. To you, please. please. Hello, Monica. My Hi. name is Fernando. I'm with ESCToday.com. Uh, well, my question is uh, about the, uh, your story. Your story is a story of how to overcome an overwhelming situation. And well, I would believe that at certain times you, somebody could uh, want to give up at uh, certain stages. But uh, you have really overcome that and you are here in the mm -hmm. biggest musical event in the world probably. So congratulations on that. Thank you. And uh, my question is, uh, how? what was your driving force? What inspired you to continue to go on and to keep on fighting despite everything? Mm -hmm. Of course, it was not easy, as you can imagine, and it took some time, a long time, actually, a, a few years, and uh, it, it's been ups and downs, and at the beginning it was very, very difficult, and I, I was devastated and uh, depressed, but, you know, I've seen many people, I've met many people in hospital, let's say, who had much more difficult situation that I had, um, as, as far as I noticed, and they were, you know, positive. Um, they, they, you know, they, they were very inspiring to me, and uh, of course, my family, my friends, generally speaking, the people, they helped me a lot, and they still do. And uh, when I realized that we can do so many things together, we don't need to be you know, so independent and so alone every time and do everything by uh, our own. Um, it was very uh, releasing for me because um, earlier I, th I thought that, you know, I need to be perfect, I need to be on my own and uh, you know don't show any uh, weakness um, but it's not true we are we all have uh, our difficulties and to to overcome and we just can't help each other it's nothing wrong with it so when i took this um, this open heart from other people and their help and it was it was a breakthrough for me, and then I, I realized that I can do 
many things still. I, I, maybe I don't need to go, uh, you know, for a marathon or something like that with with running people. But I can, I can sing. <laughs> Apparently, so. Yes, you can. So still, and it, it's possible. Uh, of course, I had to, you know. Um, uh, accept myself again in, in this new image because I think it was the most difficult thing to see uh, my face, my, my, my body in the mirror and to say this is me and I like myself, I, I love myself. It was difficult but after a while um, when I saw that many people are around me and they love me just who I am I finally started to love myself again. So the people, the people is my is my biggest, you know, um, value and um, and um, my my greatest um, treasure. <laughs> Everything. What's the most important? For the people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is John from AC Insights. Uh, the stage show for your song is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, oh, so I just wondered if you could tell us a little bit about how it came together and also what your thought process was in terms of how you wanted yourself and your song to be presented on the main stage. Um, actually, it, it was quite natural. We, we, we made the video first and we decided that it would be nice to, to keep it this way. Uh, quite romantic style, um, delicate, you know, and, and um, um, I think it's it's uh, it's a it's a good um, um, view, let's say, for for this song. It, it, it's a it's reflection. A yeah, reflection. yeah, yeah. And so we. Um, and we also trusted the people here that they can do it perfectly, and they did. So we like it very much. The, the backgrounds, um, it's it's very beautiful. So that's lucky. Yeah, <laughs> you're lucky. Yeah, I must say I'm very lucky. Yes. You know, I'm very lucky. I'm I'm here and I'm happy and I'm with these wonderful people. Um, I'll tell you what, you. <laughs> listening to you uh, makes me very happy and lucky, feel oh, lucky too, thank you. it really does. And you have very beautiful eyes. <laughs> See, I've with most people. Okay, I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, one last question. Yes, sir. Hey, Monica. Konstantin Rohr from Prince Park in Germany. Hello. And first of all, let me tell you that um, I'm very impressed by your appearance and I was at the Nas Pass conference, so I really like the message that mm -hmm. you uh, give to the people. But um, on our blog, in our team, we had a, a technical question. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of the team would like to answer, maybe yourself. Um, we noticed that there were different um, camera, um, you know, camera programs uh, that you tried out. Mm -hmm. uh, one time, um, the, the appearance started, the performance started with a close-up mm -hmm. and then the camera gradually moving away quite late mm -hmm. so that the full picture comes inside and then another time um, it started with full, um, the full stage. Is that something you would think about at all or don't you think it's important? Um, um, I think we'll, we leave it to the people who, who know what to do, you know? We do our job and they do their, their job. So, but uh, as far as I, I, I uh, noticed, um, it was some problem with with the shadow on my on my face when because I'm, uh, you know, I'm sitting, so it's a different perspective for the camera. And they had some, I don't know, some difficulties to show my face properly. That's why they had to change uh, the view, the first view. Um, but we trust that uh, it, now it looks, I think it looks good and we are... Let's not talk about it in so much detail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's leave a little something over for... Oh, 
Thank you. Yeah, I think thank it's fantastic you. that people are so passionate, you know, to, to really notice everything you know, from, from the first rehearsal to the second rehearsal. Okay, everybody, I'd just like to remind you, tomorrow, as of 12.05, I don't know why 05, but for some reason 12.05. <laughs> We're going to be back here with the so-called Big Five and Australia press conferences. Okay? And Austria. And Austria. And, oh, yeah, Austria, too, that country. <laughs> <laughs> Austria, just like, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's talk about Person. It's hilarious. You will not regret it. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to make sure that you are ready to come down for for your photo opportunity. The photos will be taken at this end. Okay.